there's going to be 9 billion people on the planet in 2050 if all projections hold true and it appears that they're well on track to holding true. We have to double food production in the next 30 years to meet that demand. And there's an increased level of quality of nutrition that's going to be required because of developing countries that are coming out of, into the next tier of their time of development, where much of that population is going to be, uh, frankly. So there's, so there's this huge challenge. How are we going to do that? We don't have more land. We don't have more the water resources, we don't have more natural resources to put into food production. Where is it? What, how are we going to do it? How, what are the, where are the technologies going to come from that are going to allow us to make that happen? Um, how are we going to innovate those technologies and apply them in a practical way? So we're seeing a renewed interest in that because students are saying, okay, well one of the big problems in the world is going to be where's the food going to come from? Now look at today. There's food rights because of food shortages in various parts of the world. Look at what's happening in the Middle East. Frankly, there's, there's concern about you know, the, some of the underpinning behind that is food security long term. Um, every hotbed part of the world, there's those, that, that's an underpinning that's there. How, how are we going to sustain food production for those parts of the world? And not only food production, but getting food to where it needs to be. Um, in those parts of the world. So, so there's, I see that as a real positive sign because now there's a need for the science, right? So the motivation is there for, I'm a student, I'm interested in this area because, oh, by the way, the motivation is I'm going to feed the world over here. And there needs to be new science that's going to help us do that. And they want to be part of that. So I, um, I'm encouraged. I think we're on the beginning to see that turn around and go on the right track. We've established a Global Water for Food Institute here on uh, the University of Nebraska campus system-wide um, around how are we going to sustain water supplies around the world to be able to meet the food need that's out there around the world. Um, uh, it's a major issue for us here in the state. It's a major issue in a lot of regions around the world. So we, we have expertise and resources here at the University of Nebraska. We have a living laboratory of the state of Nebraska that has a huge aquifer underneath it um, and uh, one of the largest watershed networks of surface water anywhere in the world that we can learn from, that we can apply what we learn here to regions all over the world 